welcome to rishi today we'll see how to calculate sample size especially for health care quality improvement sample size is more important for uh, for all statistical analysis especially for survey in, uh, in quality if you are conducting survey like uh, patient satisfaction survey or employee satisfaction survey even for safety culture survey also for medical records review the sample size is more important even there is a standard from joint commission international also from any abh but if you want to calculate sample size which method we need to use whether we need to use jca standard or any bit standard or the statistical method the correct answer is statistical method because statistical methods a scientific uh, approach but what about the other standards like uh, the sample size standard from jc or any bits mostly are hypothetical so if you want to calculate sample size always we need to use statistical formula because then only we can able to get more accurate result and one more thing i want to tell you if you are if you are conducting some performance improvement project like focus pdc sometimes we can use jc standard or any bit standard there is no problem but if you are using six sigma methodology for your performance improvement project or if you are going to do some research in healthcare quality we cannot use jc standard or other standards because it's very difficult to get more accurate result from the other standards but if you use statistical formula definitely we can able to get more accurate result so this is the advantage of uh, sample size calculation based on statistical approach so we'll see how to calculate sample size by using statistical formula actually there are a lot of formulas are available for calculation of sample size in statistics like for clinical research there are many formulas there is separate formula for uh, cross sectional study and there is separate formula for cohort study it's all depends upon the study and number of variable but today we'll see what is the most commonly used formula in healthcare quality especially for survey and the patient medical records review which formula we can use yes so this is the formula this is the most commonly used formula in healthcare quality like uh, ss yes, the sample size equal to z square into p into 1 minus p divided by c square what is uh, z 1.96 this is the statistical table value and what is p proportion of uh, success so it is 0.5 hypothetical one and 1 minus p is uh, just 1 minus of probability of success which is also 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5 and what is c c is uh, confidence level confidence interval which is equal to 0.05 so these are all constant these, these are all not vary from problem to problem even the ss is constant so if we if we substitute these values in this formula we can able to get 384.16 so this is step number 1 this is not the final sample size this is just step number 1 but step number 1 constant for all problem 
So we'll see what is step number two because there are two steps we need to use for the calculation of sample size. Now we'll see what is step number two. Uh, what is the the formula for the calculation of final sample size corresponding to the population size? The final sample size is n is equal to what is the formula? Capital N into sample size divided by sample size plus uh, capital N minus one where n is equal to population size. Suppose if the population size is 219, if the population size is 219, like the total number of medical records 219, I want to know how many records I need to choose as a sample for medical record review because it's very difficult to review all record. Not possible. It will take more time, more resources. And uh, statistically, no need to review all record. We can take always sample. So how many records we need to choose? So we'll, we'll, we'll see as per this formula. Sample size is equal to 219 because this is the formula where n is equal to how much here? So in this uh, example, how much uh, I used for n? 219. Then SS as per, the, as per, of the, as per our previous step. How much we got in the previous step? 384.16, yes. So that is the SS value divided by, again, SS 384.16 plus the population size is 219 minus 1 is constant, yes. So just uh, sub uh, 219 subtracted from 1, then add to 384.6, then numerator, we need to multiply this two number, then divide by this value. So if you divide, if you, if you simplify this term, how much we can able to get 139.1 so 139.1 is the exact number approximately it is 139 so this is the sample size for this scenario so total number of records 209 how many records i need to choose as a sample for medical record will be 139 don't choose only 10 record or 30 record. Don't choose 10 percentage or 20 percentage or 30 percentage. These are all not a scientific approach, hypothetical one. These are all quota sampling. You know, quota sampling comes under non-probability. We cannot use uh, non-probability, especially for research. If, if it is small, small project, we can use 10 percentage or 20 percentage. But if it is research or if you are if you are use, if you are going to use six sigma methodology or if you want to know more uh, more accurate result then we should we should use always statistical formula for the calculation of sample size so this is the most commonly used formula for healthcare quality especially for survey and medical record review So from this, we can able to calculate the sample size. Also, from this sample size, we can able to get more accurate result. So I hope you understood this concept. This is very useful for your survey and medical record review. Thank you.